Big B's Daily Vlogs. All these choices. Where do I want to go? And yes, I am back inside my favorite park in San Francisco, Golden Gate Park. But what I'm looking for is not there. So let's get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. I haven't did this park in a while. The last time I was here, going to this one area, I talked about a sundial. And today, we're going to talk about the garden itself. Yes, Shakespeare's Garden. Let's go. Let's go check this out. With a sign pointing to the right, we gotta go off the main road and go down this little quiet road right here. Before you go, know the rules. No bicycles. And as you walk down the pathway, you're greeted with a nice structure, an awning that gives it the name Shakespeare's Garden. And again, the last time I was here, it's because of the sundial that's right there in the middle. Let's go more into depth and talk about this garden that is named after Shakespeare. Before going in, know the rules. No dogs allowed. It's a nice, nice archway. With the man all the way in the middle. Taking a closer look at the way they have leaves or fake leaves all along this archway gives it that nice ambiance of there's leaves that's hanging all over this area so when you back up and you look close it definitely looks like there's leaves there pretty cool even from the side view it looks like the leaves are just hanging around Upon entering, what a lot of people don't realize is Shakespeare's Garden has a lot of different types of flowers. As you can see down there, they have daisies and violets, roses, lilies, all spread out through this area. And if you look close, they even have ferns. Ferns! Yes, I know my plant. I know that's a fern. Only because in Three's Company, if you guys remember the show, that's what they used to plant, or that's what they used to used to water all the time. Ferns. The last time I was here I was during Sundial Week, and I talked brief history about this sundial right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool history. If you guys haven't seen that video of me talking about the sundial, I'll leave a link to that description or to that vlog down below but this is more than just the sundial this is the whole area and how everything is going to start to bloom the sun is shining today and earlier this afternoon i'm pretty sure the sun was shining here and i'm standing underneath a tree with flowers that's getting ready to bloom and again more of the garden Pretty cool. More than 200 flowers are boasted is in this garden. Not just 
the flowers that we walked by earlier, but more than 200 of them all over here. And as we pan around and walk across the edge of the garden over there is the Academy of Science, so we're just a stone's throw away. You got these benches that has a lot of dedications on them they'll find here in the garden. But here we have, look at these flowers right here. See? Flowers. And again, they're getting ready to bloom because they, get, they got a lot of water. Now they need more sun. So they're getting ready to bloom. But isn't that, that's just nice to look at. Looking back in the area that I just walked, see the tree right over there. It's definitely, definitely getting ready to bloom. Not sure what kind of tree that is. I know it can't be a cherry blossom, but I could be wrong because of the colors. It could be a cherry blossom. But then look at this guy right here. Look at the way the leaves are hanging. Not sure what this tree is called, but it looks pretty old and looks pretty scary. These plants, I'm not sure what these are. I don't have a green thumb. I can't tell you what flowers or plants are, but I just like the color. I love the color. And I believe these in the ground right here, I want to say they're called sunflowers, but forgive me if I'm wrong, but they're scattered throughout the park. You can see them everywhere. Oh, and I see a squirrel. Yeah, just went behind the bench, running a different direction. Up oh, there he goes. He's gonna go up that tree. Golden Gate Park is notorious with squirrels, so I'll let him be. Cool little park. This park behind me, there's people over there, and I'm gonna make my way over there when they're gone. But this park, you can actually, or this part of Golden Gate Park, this Shakespeare's Garden, you can actually have a wedding here. You could reserve and have a wedding all right in front of William Shakespeare's bus, which is right over there. And again, we'll go over there in a minute. But you want to have a wedding on a nice summer day when the flowers are blooming. And I, I want to say the cherry blossom is bright. You can actually reserve this area and have your wedding here. Pretty cool, right? I think so. Last time I was here, I didn't get a chance to look at this bench, but the design on the bench, to me, is pretty cool. I looked at the other bench, which is right across over there. We'll go over there in a second, but this one right here, someone told me to make sure you look at the design when you go to the bench. And I'm looking at it, and there are flowers and plants. Fitting for Shakespeare's garden. And look at this. Looks like this bench has a crack. Somebody was either messing around or Mother Nature. It's taking its course. Made my way over to this side of the bench. And the last time I looked at this bench, I didn't get to check out the artwork and the design carefully. But now looking at it, it looks pretty cool. You have some sort of crest in the middle of the bench and it does look like there's flowers right there. Then more designs right here. And then fitting enough for Shakespeare's Garden, you have flowers. All different types of colors. Pretty cool. Right there on the ground, there's a little dedication to the man himself. 1928 is when they did this. And the man himself is right there. A little dedication for the man himself. The bronze bust is a copy cast made in 1814 by George, George Bullock. And again, you can see the man that's named after this garden, right there. So this is a copy of an original that was donated to San Francisco in the public library. Pretty cool. 
the cool thing is right along this wall they have passages of a lot of William Shakespeare's novels they have them all bronzed and engraved into the wall not on, not just on this side but on this side as well so if you're a Shakespeare fan besides Romeo and Juliet Othello you can read some of the passages right here and look I just said it they call for dates and quints in the past tree Romeo and Juliet the people that were making a lot of noise finally left but man these two overgrown bush I guess you can say that they shaped into a circle or a sphere or something round while you look at the man that this garden is named after pretty cool now the pictures that I saw for the wedding that they had they had the chairs all along the grass right over here not not where these are roped out but along the sides right here they have a row of chairs or yeah they have chairs on this side and chairs on this side and the altar or where the groom and the person who was officiating the wedding standing right over there with I'm not sure if there's an arch it could be an arch they could have something over there but you have them standing over here and it looks pretty cool in the pictures but you have to be a really really big Shakespeare fan to have a wedding here don't just have a wedding because it looks cool have a wedding because you're a Shakespeare fan pretty cool they got this one area roped off again I'm not sure why probably because the grass is the last time I was here they had parts of the grass up there that was roped off but this part is roped off maybe because of the rain the heavy rain saturated the grass maybe just don't want us to be on the grass and if you look on this middle part of the grass and you look to the right and you look to the left you don't see any of those flowers in the middle right there you see a bunch of them over there a few of them over here but none of them in the middle not even one so maybe that's the reason why maybe they're waiting for them to grow maybe they're they planted them maybe that's the reason why more benches over here where you can sit and just contemplate maybe pick up your favorite Shakespeare novel open it up and read it in the garden that's fitting to what this garden is cool little place of San Francisco they're making a lot of noise over on that side right now so I'm pretty sure they're getting something ready for the Academy of Science but usually on a nice nice quiet day this is a cool place to unwind read a book relax and enjoy the many color flowers this garden has to offer I think I think it's cool all right I see why they rope that area off there's a little sign here that I didn't see coming in but it says keep off new lawn so yep looks like that lawn is new that's why they didn't see any of the white flowers there and it's funny because they have this area roped off right here I guess just to tell us not to go that direction but one last look Shakespeare's Garden nice little history of San Francisco nice part of San Francisco here inside Golden Gate Park that's pretty cool pretty cool to just come and check this place out all right guys that's gonna do it here from Golden Gate Park Shakespeare's Garden Shakespeare right there you got the sundial the Shakespeare sundial right there cool place to visit definitely come check this place out whenever you're here in San Francisco a dog just peeked in right there it's kind of he still is peeking now he's coming my way but a cool place to visit cool place to come hang out cool place to just unwind relax it's one of San Francisco's cool things to do when you're here get a book sit on one of these benches could be anything a novel Shakespeare's novel would be fitting if you're reading a Shakespeare book here in Shakespeare's garden 
it would be fitting. It would be fitting. But cool place to visit. Definitely check this place out when this place, when spring hits, which is going to be next week here in San Francisco. This place is going to be live, alive with plants, flowers. The color is going to pop out even more. So definitely check this place out. Definitely. Definitely. Thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm loving this daylight savings. I'm loving the 12 hours of sun, being able to go out and vlog and do a video and not worry about the sun going down. Thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. More adventures coming tomorrow. Promise. Thanks for watching, guys. Here, Shakespeare's Garden inside Golden Gate Park. Vlogs ended. Go in peace. As much as I like this sundial, especially during sundial week when I did a video about it, these trees, I am not sure if you'll be able to catch any sun rays hitting this sundial. What do you think? Any sun rays hitting this sundial anytime soon? I don't think so. And don't forget, keep off new lawn. Even the back of the gate looks nice. I made this.